I've got the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro right here that I imported in from China. And yesterday was the last day of my bootloader unlock waiting period. I uploaded a screenshot on the YouTube community page showing that I was able to fully unlock the bootloader of this smartphone. And as you can see, because I'm using the Chinese version of MIUI, it's got everything in Chinese. The Play Store is installable, but it takes a few extra steps to get to that point. So today I'm going to show you, now that we have the bootloader unlocked, how we can change the region of the MIUI firmware install from China to the global version of MIUI which is actually for the Poco F2 Pro smartphone. So I'm essentially going to be changing this Redmi K30 Pro into a Poco F2 Pro by flashing the global version of MIUI on it. And we can actually switch this from the Chinese version to the global, to the Russian, to the EEA, or even the Indonesian version of MIUI, depending on which flavor, which region of MIUI you prefer. I'm going to be including the link to where I'm downloading this firmware. And we need to make sure that we're downloading the fast boot ROM, not the recovery ROM. And I'm going to show you how that looks. So now that we have our bootloader unlocked, we need to power off the device because we need to boot over into fast boot mode so that we can flash those firmware files over. We're just booting in the fast boot mode by holding the power and volume down buttons. And then we're going to connect this smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And then I'm going to show you how I downloaded and extracted the firmware. So here we have the website, and again, this is going to be linked in the video description. I've just gone through here. I found the global entry, but again, remember, we need to download the fast boot ROM, not the recovery boot ROM. So we go find the global fast boot version, and then we download that. that gives us this four gigabyte firmware file which we extract into an eight gigabyte firmware file which then extracts into this folder that you see here and when we go into that folder you're gonna see these 11 files and the one folder what we're gonna need to do is make sure that we copy the entire path to this folder. So I would just click into the address bar here and we copy that entire URL or file system structure. And then we're going to go into the Xiaomi program Me Flash. And for those who don't have this, I'm going to have a download link in the video description. We're going to or we're going to paste that entire file structure right into this field right here. And you can go and click select and then find that exact folder with these files and then put it into and then select it for here. So with me flash open our directory to the firmware files inserted into the field. We have our Redmi K30 Pro right here in fast boot mode with it connected to the PC with a USB cable. With all that done, we can click on refresh right here. And you should see your device show up. If it's not, 
then it's likely a USB dri uh, driver related issue and you're going to need to install some ADB drivers for Xiaomi devices. Now before we begin, very very important, look down here at the bottom you're going to see three options to click. You're going to have clean all, save user data, and then clean all and lock. Now this clean all and lock option is selected and highlighted by default so again, very, very important that you go and click just the clean all. We could re-unlock the bootloader again later if we accidentally choose this option. It's not a terrible thing to do. It's just very inconvenient for most of us who want to keep the bootloader unlocked. So again, we're just going to make sure that the clean all option is highlighted and selected then we can click the flash button up here in the top right. Now if you remember, the files here are very big. When we saw this last extracted version, this was eight gigabytes without compression. So this flash process right here is gonna take a long time at least it did for me. We're gonna see this bar almost look like it fills up. And we're gonna see this number continue to go up, but it's not going to be complete. We're gonna to need to wait patiently until we have, until this flashing message on the right changes to something like success or succeeded or finished. So again, remember, there's a lot of files that our computer has to not only transfer to the smartphone, but it also has to write the data from those files to the partition. So again, I just want to point out that after a couple of minutes, the Mi Flash screen is going to look something like this, where the green bar is going to look like it's full but it's really not and this number is going to continue going up and it's going to say right here it's going to say finished and it only took two seconds but we can see that it, this part is taking a lot longer again just be patient so we're progressing a little more we got past that big file that it was sending and it is continuing to flash the global version of MIUI to this Redmi K30 Pro which will turn it into the Poco F2 Pro The amount of time it takes for me flash to send all these files over will likely vary depending on computer to computer whether it's bottlenecked at your USB version speeds the USB an old USB cable or even if it's just sending at max speed you can see it's going to probably take at least 10 minutes. And we're just going to be patient during the whole process. We're even going to notice that the smartphone is going to reboot on its own, assuming everything goes according to plan. Which I know if, if you don't get an error at the start, you're usually not going to get an error halfway through, unless maybe you have some corrupt files, 
maybe you have a poor USB cable connection. But more often than not, as long as you start the process without any errors, then you'll likely complete it without any errors as well. So we are right under the 10 minute mark and we got a green success message and our smartphone has rebooted and I've already noticed the new Poco boot animation. As I mentioned, the smartphone is, has rebooted on its own. And so when, since we have done a factory data reset, which is typically required whenever you change firmwares like that, it's going to take a little bit longer to boot up back into Android. And you're going to get this devices locked screen to where you have to connect to the internet and then log into your MIUI account. If you had a MIUI account added to the device before you did the factory data reset, which is what happens whenever we flash the different global version of MIUI. Skipping through most of it just so that we can get to the home screen. And at least for me, one of the biggest advantages here is that now I have instant access to the Google Play Store. I'm going to see less ads in MIUI at least in this current iteration. Xiaomi could change things up at any time. Don't need to use Xiaomi Cloud. And there we go. That is how to flash the Poco F2 Pro MIUI firmware onto the Redmi K30 Pro and changing it from the Chinese version of MIUI over to the global version.